Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder and FM20 journey. Uh, this is our journeyman save. We are with Bala Town. This is the Six Club. If you're just catching up or just tuning in, and this is season two, episode six, and the season finale in the Premier League Playoff Conference. We finished seventh in the original standings we split off in this uh the, the welsh premier league splits off into two groups and we have really dominated uh we are six points up but we are down on goal differential so newtown could catch us for seventh and i think it's imperative that we win this because if i'm looking at this right we qualify for europe if we finish in seventh place, not to mention the fact we get a whole $9,000 more in prize money. Ooh, compare that to what we'd get for finishing 12th in the Premier League or something, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, after, let's see, we played Barrytown and Colwood Bay last match. We had the 5-3 exciting match. Go check that out if you didn't see last episode. Uh, we then lost to Newtown 2-1. to one. Uh, Nick Ward scored from the midfield. We gave up uh, two goals later, including a 70th minute to lose that one. And then we beat Airbus 2-1. to one. Uh, Declan McDonald with another goal. He's going to be our leading scorer this year. Ken Tipton back on the pitch, and he found the net. I think that might be his just his first goal of the season. Don't remember. But let's see. Declan McDonald now sitting on eight goals. Uh, just to, for comparison, uh, our two two of our strikers, all three of our strikers combined, only have eleven. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. Uh, let's see. And Tipton, Tipton's got three, so um, I need to get Tipton back on the pitch. I think that is imperative. Uh, he is one of our veterans, so let's jump into it. So where we're at here. We're going to keep going with this for a little while because, remember, we we took the step back from FK Carl Scrona, and we had built them up. We had gotten them with back-to-back -back promotions to the top league uh, where they were at in Sweden. But we were just not gaining any reputation. So, again, if you're new and you haven't caught up, when I started the save, I played ahead 30 seasons because you'll notice we're in 2063. So I played ahead 30 seasons and, you know, I haven't seen a YouTuber do that. And I wanted I wanted something different to where we had a different set of players uh, to deal with. And we weren't dealing with all the same known players. So I, I, I think that's going to be something I'm going to make mine. I'm going to do that every year from now on. I kind of like the idea. Um, everybody has Messi and Ronaldo and Neymar and, you know. But if you go 30 years ahead, all of those guys and all the all the wonder kids that are in the game at that time, um, like Erling Holland, they're all gone. They're all retired after 30 years. So you you basically have a clean slate. You have all new players that you want to you know that you have to get to know. But uh, so anyway, I think I'm going to make that mine. Oh, new hat by the way. Uh, so it's Saturday. I'm recording. I usually wear hats on the weekend. Um, so I've got my new Michigan hat. I ordered two of them from the Michigan website and they came in, uh, Thursday night. So I was like all excited for today. Yes. Um, so now I've got three Michigan hats in my collection and I've got a, uh, I actually have a Leeds United hat coming in. Uh, I ordered from the uh, Leeds website. I don't know how long it's going to take to ship from, uh, the UK, uh, to the states, especially with this coronavirus thing going on. I don't know if that's going to slow down the mail or not. Probably, I don't think it is, but you never know. Never know. So um, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, we're hoping to qualify for Europe today. Nervous about it. We're playing uh, Penry Cock today, and we are favorites. So I am going to go... This has kind of been my go-to tactic in my solo save, and I've been doing really well. Now, Hignett, I do not want there. I want Tipton in. I do want Tipton in. He's not bad. I'm surprised Doyle and Penrith have not developed any relationship this year. Champion's relatively new. 
but we just don't have a lot of partnerships up here. Uh, Bird, Roberts, don't want Roberts. Let me get him out of there. Bing. And I want Thomas. There you are. And can I, no, I don't want, actually, Thomas. No, it's not Thomas I want either. I was noticing Thomas has really good heading ability, but his finishing, he doesn't have the best finishing. Let's look at, uh, it's Lee Jones that I think I want. See, his pace is what's hurting him. He's got real good heading. No, let's go with, uh, let's go with Thomas. Let's stick him in there. Lacking fitness. That's all right. Oh, man. So if you guys are in other parts of the world, um, let me know what's going on in your areas with this coronavirus thing, what you guys are seeing. You know, because, you know, honestly, I don't know how much is, is media-driven, how much is fear and hype-driven. Um so it would be nice to hear from real people uh, on what's going on out there, um, you know, what you guys are seeing, just, you know, just for my own morbid curiosity more than anything else, just to, you know, what are, what are you guys going through? What change, you know, what, what, what are your governments enacting, you know, in place to try to deal with this? You know, just, just to kind of understand, you know, what everybody else is doing and going through. All right, we're up to a 5-2 early shot advantage. But my guy wasn't very happy there for whatever reason. I guess he got called for a foul. Well, good save by Harbottle. We always seem to let the guy, the attacker, get behind us on, on defense. I don't know what the deal is. All right, we are really... Let's get creative. All right, there's a pass back. All the way back to Harbottle in the goal. Ooh, that was kind of a dangerous pass. Uh-oh. Nope. I thought he was going to be able to first touch that. We've got two guys that chest it down. He shoots high. Harbottle went low on that one, it appeared. Oh, nice ball. Don't lose it. God damn it. Champion playing around with the ball, his ball in the middle. His 100th league goal for Walsh McKeon or McCune. It was a good pass out, but he needed to move that real quick. Nah, you can't do that. Can't do that. Show some passion. All right, Doyle. And it's in. Declan, and Declan McDonald fighting for that ball. Get in there. Ninth goal of the season. Their defender did the same thing. He just kind of sat on the ball, and McDonald just pounced on that. Way to go. All right. Can we steal the ball and get a counter here? Oh, my God. Look out. Tipton. Tipton. He takes a shot at the near post, and that doesn't pay off. Their keeper's injured. Uh, two days. Yeah, he's all right. All right. I, I, we should be winning this match, right? We should. Should be winning the match. Who do we have? Do we have anybody else? Guy Holt. He's got a six in passing. What's his? Seven in passing. See, he's got an 11 in decision making. I just expect better. All right, Thomas sitting on a yellow card. He's got a 6-8 here in the first half. What are the odds of getting a set piece from the center circle? Oh, Thomas is there. Oh, 
Come on. It doesn't get any better than that, Thomas. All right, champion gets to it, and the highlight ends abruptly. All right, you know what? Thomas is on a 6-4. Let's bring in a bird for him. And Tipton is not playing well. Let's bring Hignett on for him. Let's give him some more creativity. Uh, passion. Jamo McD <laughs> McDonald with a brace. What a placement at the back post. Oh my God. And he is into double digit goals. What a stud. Center back. Ace goal scorer. Oh my God. What's his contract look like? 64. We've got him for another year. I'm offering him a new contract if I can. At halftime. Yep, just give him what he wants. At halftime, or <laughs> here, run over here and sign the contract during the uh during the match. You're the man. By God. That's how I'll reward you boys if you if you play well. All right, uh, Nick Ward. Let's bring uh, Philip Johnson. The coach says only guy that we really have, unless we do some Tetrisy type things and twist it all up. There's a nice ball out. Johnson finds his first touch of the game. There's an in ball. Oh, another one. Johnson across the keeper and his second goal of the season. That's going to put the nail. Two goals up, 88 minute. And that should secure Europe for us, boys. I am pretty excited by that. Let's tell him to tighten up. Oh, there was a foul. Pelfreyman. Ah. Come on, Sam. Did you have to do that in the 91st minute? Oh, the keeper, Harbottle, just looked at it. He was like, yeah, I'm not stopping that. That was a pretty good shot there, Hughes Hall. Hughes Hughes? Hughes Huzz? I, I don't know. It looked like Hughes Hughes to me, but... Calling H2O. We win 3-2. We actually needed that. It was disappointing. I will I will agree that we fell apart there at the end. Otherwise, it would have been really good. And All right, Colwyn Bay and Airbus are officially relegated. We're in really good form here. Looks like the Saints I'd say the Saints have clinched because they're three up, but plus eight on goal differential. I don't think Banger's going to win by more than nine goals in their match, whatever, whoever they're playing next. So new Saints are going to win another league title. Uh, McDonald, 10 headers and two goals. Um, well, you were superb. Can I go back and congratulate you on we qualify for the playoff conference? I don't know what that means. The playoff conference is this loser's bracket that we're in. Now we qualify for European. Yes. All right. That is good. All right. Well, we'll close out the season against Carmathan Town. We'll see you guys back here in just a second. All right. Well, I'm going through some emails heading into today's match and I have been advised that I have failed to repair the club's financial damage. I'm not happy with that because again, we did drop spending a almost a hundred thousand dollars and we were only about $10,000 over our payroll budget. And then they whacked another what sixty to eighty thousand dollars off of that mid season this year, so I was not happy about that. But we have failed that, so that's going to be bad. Are you trying to get me fired? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's the right answer. 
All right, so we're heavy favorites. Declan McDonald signs a new contract. Strongest down the right. Don't know if we're going to have a save here before we get to the actual match. If we do, I'll try to edit it out. Oh, we've gotten a new uh, field put down. All right, so it needs to bed in properly, but uh, it should do that relatively quickly. All right, so we're playing Carmathan Town. We are favorites. Do we want to go with this tactic? I think I do. Now, what do I want to tweak here? We've got work the ball. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to turn that off and let them let them kind of do what they want. I don't want to go overboard with changes because then you can't really evaluate. That's what I've always heard at least. All right, we'll go with Bird and Wardley. Why Wardley? Are we tired here? Nick Ward. Carl Roberts. Let's go ahead and give Roberts a start, man. Might be his, it's gonna be his last game for us. We'll see what happens there. All right, fellas. Last match of the season. We are in the white. Palfreyman. Jamo, poor ball. And that's one of those stupid headers I thought they fixed. Guto James, his 19th of the season. Declan's looking at the left back going, I can't score 19, fellas. You're either going to have to stop them or somebody else is going to have to score goals. Let's get creative. We are having absolutely no highlights. All right, so let's change. Let's put that back on. And confirm the changes. Show some passion. McDonald, oh, he was looking for number 11. Nice header at the near post. Keeper makes a good save. Pal Freeman. I think Tipton might have gotten to that ball. Jamo. Uh, Ward. Uh, good layoff over to Wilson in space. That was a smart play. Wilson fights through it. Champion. Ball out to Roberts. He cuts into the box. Crossed Ward. Uh, it's going to give him a goal kick. Come on. Demand more here in the final five minutes. Palfreyman is furious. I need to tell him to calm down. Can I tell him to calm down? No. All right. Oh, and I just screwed up. I hit the button too many times. Boo. All right. Uh, all right. I did, oh, I didn't even notice he was injured. So let's bring Hignett on for him. And you know what? I want to bring Ollie Woods on. He plays out of position there, but... He can play defense. He has good passing, composed decision making. I think he could do the job. I think he can do the job there. We'll see. Uh, Roberts does a little hop, skip, and a jump, but loses the ball. We'll give him flare points, but uh, for accomplishing anything, he gets a zero. Good ball there. Back to McDonald. He can't find the pass over the top. 
Uh, good clearance by McDonald. Ward brings it down the wing. Uh, beats his man. Can't beat the second one. <coughs> Maintains possession. Champion is still in the game, as is Roberts. He cuts it inside, taken down in the penalty box. There's the subage. This should be Declan McDonald again, huh? There he is. Lining it up. Oh, I ought to play him at striker, I think. That is just brilliant. Number 11 on the season equalizes for us. Let's show some passion. Palfreyman heads it clear. Solid defense for the most part. Oh, some quick passing. Look at that through ball and Harbottle can't find that one. It's always nice to give up somebody's first goal of the season in the last match of the season. This guy has been so bad, he can't score all year, but he's going to score against you in the final game. Uh, demand more, please. Well, Declan, I'm going to run you till your wheels fall off, I'm afraid, sir. Uh, Palfreyman for Bennett. Let's get some other stuff going on that left wing over there. Actually, that would be right wing, would it not? Right wing, yes. I knew it was somewhere back there. Get creative. Oh, this is bad. Four minutes of stoppage time. No highlights. 22 to 3 on shots. All three on target, and two of those found the net. Six chances created. Oh, man. Well... We win, we qualify for Europe by seven points. That was horrible. Uh, aggressive, far from pleased. Now, does that add anything for us now? Or is that next season? New Saints win again. Carl Roberts out for a week or so in his last match for the club. We pick up $46,000. All right, Declan McDonald wins Player of the Month. Uh, let's see, he's also in the Team of the Month. Good on him. Uh, let's see, I've got my Continental Pro license, so I'm as high as I can get. I believe that's right. We should get up to... I just found a player that I want. Ooh, Carl Scrona. Um... Oh, I guess we can go see how they finished up because their season should be over, right? I think they played at a different time of the year. Let's check them out real quick. Tenth. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so the, uh, well, they're tenth currently. Uh, let's see. Overview... Stages, that's where we want to go. Wow, Norcoping beat Hammerby last year. Wow. Tom will be happy about that. I believe he's a Norcoping guy, if I remember correctly. And Carl Scrona finished 13th. Ooh. Well, they were well clear of relegation, but still, that's it's a little bit of a drop from where we had been. Oh, how did... Uh, how did they do in Europe last year? Lost to Hibs. Lost to Hibs. All right. Well, you know, they scored. They scored in Europe. Good on them. What about transfers? Uh, da, da, da. Transfer history. There we are. Last year. 
Michael DuPont left on a free. Larson left. Gustafson was sold. Ollie Jacobson was sold. Leonard Thompson, of course, we remember him being sold. Latifi, they got let go. Victor Dieter left on a free. Wow. And then this year, they sold Michael Larson. Man, all right. Do they have any of our players left? Costman is still there. Clunan. Seeger. Lund. Carl Evans. Oh, he's injured. Ooh, three months. Ouch. Carl Evans is still there, though. Alvin Gunners. Stenquist. Paulson. O'Driscoll. Three goals in seven. Four goals in one for Joseph Olander. Who is that? He's got a pretty good finishing. I don't remember him. Where did he come from? Picked him up on a free. I must have picked him up. He never. He didn't play for me very much. But look what he's developed into. You're welcome, Carl Scrona. All right. I want to get to these awards. All right, well, I just got an email. So we do have playoffs this year. So this is to qualify for Europe for next year, I guess. So we're going to play Jan Dudno. We'll do that in another episode. Um, wow. All right. So anyway, we, uh, we have to finish that match, I suppose, before we see the end of season awards and whatnot. So guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll be back for another episode this season. See you next time. Take care. Bye.